Welcome back to another Sup Border Review. This week it's the turn of the JP Fusion 98. This is a sort of all round cruising, but tailored a bit more to the surfboard. The dimensions for this board, nine for eight long, 31 inches wide. 4.2 inches thick, 152 liters in volume, comes as standard as a two plus one fin setup. It weighs just under 10 kilograms and it retails at 1,399 pounds in the WE, which is the wood edition here. The materials of the board, EPS foam core, multiple layers of glass. It's got wood obviously around this board, concentrating around the deck area. All the materials are put together with bio resin, which is great for the environment. And check this out for the coolest thing you could put in a board probably. The rails are made up of volcanic basalt. Now that sounds good. I absolutely no idea what it means, so I had to go on the JP website to have a look. And they say, basalt on the wood addition boards adds strength, stiffness, and abrasion resistance. Basalt is 100% volcanic rock, a natural and sustainable fiber. I don't know how you get volcanic rock in a board, but it does sound absolutely fantastic. So that's the catalog bump you can find on the internet. Let's move on to our subboard impressions. Deck pad, as like all the JPs, very nice and comfy. Really like the way the deck pad changes in colors and the EVA, how it's cut, looks really smart. JP logo's back at the tail there. Nice big kicker so you can get your foot against when you're starting to get into your surf maneuvers. Deep recessed carry handle, really comfy for walking up the beach in long distances. Windsurf mass track, well not a mass track, it's a mass plug, you can put your, your UJ straight in the front there. Great to have, we didn't windsurf it, but JP, because they are from that windsurf background, keeping that ability to windsurf on all their subs. And you've got your pressure valve at the front there. All the wood addition boards, which is this one here with the wood obviously, have the really standout orange pinstripe line. The JP logo is sort of coming out from the board does really look good with the orange and gray, but I'm a big fan of orange and gray personally anyway. The weight of the board is pretty good, just under 10 kilos. This is a fairly big board at 152 liters, so there's a bit of size to it, but it's actually quite lightweight for its size. The outline shape of the board does fit the market that they're trying to sell it to, which is a cruisy board, happy on flat water, but a really happy towards the surf. A nicely pulled in tail, but not too thin at the tail here, so it offers you a large amount of width and ease of paddling to get you into the surf and just into paddleboarding in general for the first time. Because this board has got a lot of volume at 152 liters and a fair amount of thickness in the center here, the nice thing that they've done on the rails is they thin the rails out. Now, you can either do that by pulling them right in and having a really dome deck, which some people don't really like because it makes you stand a bit awkwardly, or you can keep the deck, the deck or you can keep the deck flat, <laughs> you can keep the deck flat or you can keep the deck flat and you can have a little step before the rails. And that's what they've done on their Fusion range. So they've brought the rails in, so they're smaller in thickness, which then offers better drive and better bite on the wave face. And when you're surfing it, you can feel that, especially because, as I said, this is a fairly biggish board. But then the plus of that is you still have a lot of volume for the size of the board, so it can cater for the heavier riders really well. The bottom shape of the board, front to back, the rocker line, is a very nice shape board that really helps you at getting out over waves and catching waves and actually starting to do surf maneuvers. We just did a how-to video using this to paddling out and getting out over some waves. Very easy to punch over waves because of that rocker line just punches over the waves really easy. So tailored again to that beginner sup surfer. The bottom shape across the board up at the nose, it's pretty flat to be honest. There is not much really going on there, maybe a tiny dip in the center to help capture water. Back to the mid section of the board, it's pretty flat there, you can't really see anything, and then just about here, you start to see a V coming in, which is where the center is raised up. And it gets a little bit more pronounced at the tail there, but not much. The V obviously helps you from rail to rail turnings when you're going from left to right on the wave, just to shed the water off in a certain direction. The fin set up the board comes with, it's FCS side fins and a US center box. The center fin is a six and a half inch honeycomb JP fin. To be honest, this fin setup is very nice for sup surfing. It is quite small, maybe if you started to get in sup surfing and you wanted a bit more forward tracking, but for an intermediate surfer or a surfer that wants to get into some more maneuvers, tighter top turns, better cutbacks, this setup really is very, very nice. In the performance sense, what's this board like to paddle? Well, on the flat water, you can paddle, it's very easy. You're not gonna set any speed records, but if you wanna cruise up the river and do a mile or so, this board will do it absolutely fine. But it does really lend itself 
yourself to the surf and getting into the surf from beginners to advanced riders. On a wave, it's very, very easy to surf, very predictable, doesn't catch you out at any point, and it makes the turns very smooth. Not really dramatic and extreme, but then you wouldn't really expect it for a board like this. This is a beginner, intermediate surf shape, but a bit of all round as well. We completely agree with JP Australia when they say this board is really happy on flat water, but it really loves to surf because it does really like to surf. And as I said before, it's very, very easy. Who do we think this will best suit? Well, definitely you're gonna be able to ride it if you're an intermediate level from 65 kilograms in weight to 95 kilograms in weight. But if you're a beginner, the real sweet spot for you will be 65 to 85 kilograms. If you're in that sort of weight bracket, you could probably get this as a first time sup. You could do the river supping, cruising down the river with friends, and you could get into surfing, and it will last you a few years into sup surfing, and it will really help you crack those key maneuvers. So pros and cons and value for money. Well, pros, it's got volcanic rocks in it, for crying out loud. That is cool. And it does seem to be pretty hard wearing. There is no dings or compression dings at all on this board. So the actual board itself seems very strong, especially around the rail area. And it is really, really easy to surf. And it's a lot of fun on the wave, even for the better riders. But if you're beginner intermediate, it's gonna be a real winner. Cons, well, I've been trying to rack my brains about finding something that I don't really like about this board but I don't really wanna pick any holes in this board if it doesn't really need it. Maybe it could do with some better honeycomb glass side fins instead of the plastic ones, but it is acceptable, especially at the level you're gonna be surfing them at. Value for money, well, it is 1,399 pounds, which is up there at the higher price point. It's definitely not the most expensive for a board of this construction. So it does sit at a good price point from a main player brand. And remember these big players, they are easier to resell. So generally the retail does reflect that a little bit. Hope you found that subtle review of the JP98 Fusion interesting and informative. Remember, if you want to find out more about this board and what boards we compare it to, check out Subwater Pro where we go into this in a bit more detail. But until next time, we'll see you on Subwater or on YouTube. Thanks.